Hey everybody, this is Taz. Welcome back to Taz's Weight Closet. Today I'm introducing a brand new style by Raquel Welch for 2021. This is called Up Close and Personal in the color Shaded Biscuit. Lots you want to know about this style, everything coming up. This wig style was sent to me by Wig Studio One for this review today. Expand the description box below the video where you'll find a link directly to this wig style. You can check out the details and pricing there. We invite you to shop at Wig Studio One. We want to earn your business. If there's anything we can do, or if you have any questions, please reach out to support at wigstudio1.com. Also from any product page on the website, scroll down, hit the help button to be connected with a live chat. So Up Close and Personal is the shortest of the four new styles that were just released by Raquel Welch for March 2021. It's a short little layered style. It has lots of cute texture to it and some beautiful cap features. You won't wanna miss the nuggets coming up in this review. Now this Shaded Biscuit RL1923SS um, this is my favorite blonde in the Raquel Welch line. It's only available on the heat-friendly styles or the true-to-life fiber. It starts with like a sandy, a light sandy brown. It has some honey run through it. Um, but it's highlighted mostly with an ash platinum. And I have seen variations of this color with different amounts of the ash platinum. And so that's a medium brown root on a dimensional cool light blonde. So I can tell you this is right out of the box, guys. This was on my doorstep this morning. I think I went to bed before the UPS guy dropped it off. <laughs> um, so it was laying there for me this morning. I brought it in, I took it out of the box, took the tags off, just gave it a quick shake. That's all I have done. So what you're looking at here is just me applying it and just kind of finger combing through it a little bit. So you see that there is a nice natural contour at the front. And that's about a four and a half inch bang area. So if you like bangs like um, editor's pick, this is going to be the exact bang that you're gonna find on this style. The same length, kind of a similar contour and so forth. There's also a four and a half inch crown and that tapers down into about a three and a quarter inch nape. So what's special about that is um, this nape is ultra long. It lends itself to the sophistication of this style, but it also has and offers amazing coverage at the nape line. And talking about the wonderful cap features on this, it features a temple to temple extended lace front, a full single monofilament top, it's open wefted sides and back, so let's get up close on these lace features. So you can see where that highlight is brought right up to that lace front. It extends beautifully into that ear tab, leaving it a seamless front. The lace front uh, adheres to the head very nicely and it blends into the skin tone nicely as well. And then you'll see that there is a monofilament top and that encompasses the entire top and back to the crown. This will give you the ability to part it wherever you want uh, with the illusion of scalp from any anywhere on the top. Now, each one of these fibers, the denier is a little bit um, on the coarser side. So when I run my fingers through it, it doesn't feel silky. Um, it feels a little hardier than that. And there's a little more texture to the touch. So it's not quite silky, um, but it's still very soft. So the more medium denier on these fibers is also going to lend itself to the ability to style it and have it hold. Um, have you had Raquel Welch styles before where you can just plop them into place, finger style them with your fingers and you don't have to do anything else. You don't have to use product uh, on it to keep it there. This is exactly what these fibers will do. They're very, very impressionable. They tend to stay exactly where you put them and I will demonstrate more on that in the styling segment. So a few things about this style that I think are a little bit different. Sometimes you can get a short a layered style like this and it's perfectly straight. 
All right, you want to know that this one has some waviness to it. There seems to be a little bit of underwave or body wave going on. And I think that that is most evident at the front temple area and at the nape. So when you first get it out of the box, you're going to see a little bit of coiling right there. Um, so the fiber sweeps in front of the ear tab for beautiful coverage, but it also is a little wavy. You could really play that up if you wanted to get some little pin type curls right there. Um, or you could press it down flat. I prefer a flatter look right there at the ear tab with it pumped up a little bit in the middle. Uh, but this will give you that option. And then you're gonna start to see some waviness take place right at the crown, down through the back, and at the nape. So you can see that nape is kinda has some built-in waviness contour there. So let's talk about this style a moment. So this is a very sophisticated look, I think. In fact, I am a very casual person. I like a tousled, casual, not too perfect look. I don't think I could achieve that <laughs> with this wig just because its identity is that a more mature, sophisticated, maybe professional looking style. And it's rather polished despite the fact that it does have some texture and wave to it. Um, and with this nape here, I believe that if that nape is not to your taste, that you could trim it a little bit. You could trim it and thin it just a tad to bring it up because that is an extraordinary long nape. When you have an extraordinary long nape like that, it kind of curls under the ear as well. So there's beautiful coverage back there. Uh, but I think that nape just um, kind of makes it look flat in the back a little bit. And you could also put on some volume here in the back too, just by fluffing it up a little bit. But you need to know uh, what this style is all about. So it's got some wave, it's, it's more of a mature, sophisticated look, very elegant and very beautiful. So the last thing I wanna talk about here before we do our uh, spin and our walk is permatease. This style has a lot of permatees, which is going to give a nice voluminous look all the way around. You're going to find permatees all around that monofilament top, pretty heavy there at the crown, especially here at the temples. So you could really get a lot of volume. And like I say, right out of the box, just putting it on the volume is pretty obvious. It would be hard to disguise this volume by tamping down permatees. It's meant to be high and voluminous, with a nice high crown to it, lots of volume on the top and sides. Look at the cap for Raquel watches up close and personal. There's that lace front beautifully contoured, extends back into the ear tab for a seamless look from the front. The knots gradually get a little more thick as you move back. That always gives a nice natural look at the hairline. A seam adjoining the single monofilament top. Beautifully done. Part of their memory cap three series. It's a silicone coating over the elastic holding the wefts. This gives it a secure, custom-like fit. And then we have a brushed velvet ear tab with very sturdy stays. This has some really nice coverage. It's a substantial ear tab. An extended nape that does stay in place with Velcro style adjusters. Now this cap is average right out of the box. You'll notice I had to cinch it in quite a bit to accommodate a petite average circumference. Glasses fit beautifully between the ear and the ear tab. There seems to be a lot of permatease a little higher up on the temple, 
but a reasonable amount right there above the ear. If you're a full-time glasses wearer, you can slip it right under the hair, over the ear tab and between the ear very comfortably and securely. Thanks for joining me today for a look at the brand new Up Close and Personal by Raquel Welch. Be sure to check it out at Wig Studio One. We'll see you next time on Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One.